Sorry, I was just sitting here having some breakfast. Oh, now I need to... Hold on, I need to go away again real quick. back up where I left off I don't know like two weeks ago um yeah I was not yet done with this puzzle and I just had to leave so I think I feel like I had gotten the droplet not that long anyway let's look let's reacquaint ourselves an electronic drug to avoid. All right, so I think I think I tried talking about this one as maybe the letters from E drug, and it would mean to avoid. Um, R U G. That's no good. Uh, Ursa Major. Um, that's a bear. And it's in the sky. You bear up. Bits of advice on teasing. Now we've got some of the letters of bits, well, all of the letters of bits, the I, there they are, plus a P. Um, rib tips? Is rib tip a thing? Like, if you rip on someone, you're teasing them. No. No, you're not. I don't... <laughs> If you rib someone, I guess you kind of are with ripping on, but ribbing is also teasing. I think maybe this is, I'm getting caught by an anagram when I shouldn't be. I'm looking for an anagram. I think it's just ribs, which is like some teasing. 
would be some ribs. I think that's what we're doing here. Okay. Followers of Patriot Nathan trusted. Nathan Hale? What, have I said that before? Is that a, is that a person? Oh, and then it, uh, inhale is, okay. I got, <clears throat> I was like, inhale is a word, so that seems pretty good. Nathan Hale is a patriot. A returning deserter. Um, this one I was thinking I need to sp spell backwards a word that means deserter. And, you know, we're very close. A rat? Rats jump off of ships, so that would be tar. And then... Roster is R, and then the letters of store. And that's where you put names. Elude. Oh. <laughs> is this like like Quaaludes? The drug that I know about because of the Wolf of Wall Street? And then an E, maybe. But elude does mean to avoid. So we're good on that front. Okay. Um, this one I remember thinking like if I were just playing real crosswords, classic crosswords, I would just put a pop, but it's probably not it. It could be Aeon. Um, if each is A, which I think flies, then you can anagram one, and now we have a word, but A1 is also a valid crossword fill. Hitman. I don't know if, I don't know how to pick. I think I'm going to go ahead and pencil mark this one. Right, and who likes generic beer? An ailer? I don't know if that's a, a thing at all, but I remember thinking about it before. Okay. Do well with ER props. Um, well, one of these E's, I'm fairly sure we need E R P R O P S. I think those are our anagram letters. So we're missing, we got one extra E. Um, I'm gonna, oh, what a change. Yeah, there it is. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this one. I'm gonna get rid of both of them. ER props. Okay, so those are our... Oh! <laughs> I was just trying to type in the letters. You know, uh, I would be suspicious if I was watching me come back to a puzzle. Like, maybe this guy studied. No, that was that was all luck right there. I was really just trying to put ER props' letters into place, and I spelled out prosper. Which seems like it means do well. Okay, uh... Ailer? You're back. Don't don't like it. And I mean, this could be a per, which would, like per is each, and a is one, and a per. It's a stretch, but it would mean, as a word on its own, it would mean like mocking someone who is copying another, who's aping somebody. Um, 
free Excel movement. Uh, we are too many, I mean, the free Excel is too many letters, uh, but we have, an L, as you can see, and Excel obviously sounds like the letters X and L. Oh, so if we needed free and XL, these would be our letters. Fexler is not a thing to me. Oh, but Reflex is a thing, and Alex is fine. That's a name. Oh, X as in like... I mean, the way that I'm explaining this, maybe there's a clear reference that other people see, but the way that I'm thinking of this is like when you would like put in X as a variable or even like signing your name with an X, like brand X maybe is a thing too. Anyway, this X is a placeholder for the name of an ale. So it's like ale X and then Alex is the name of a person who likes it. And Aper seems okay. It's fine for now. Maybe that last letter needs to change. Okay, yeah, I think we looked at, I did look at all these clues, so, um... I mean, offenses fits and would mean violations. 14,589,687 unfortunately means nothing to me. So let's let's get the pencil back. Oh, a hitman is an offer. That's someone who would off someone. And obviously offer is a word that means something other than, than that. All right, supplies public relations videos. Provides uh, means supplies and you take PR for public relations and then videos. Took part in a dive competition, straight up. Uh, Vide is an anagram of dive. And to take part in any competition is to vie. A kind of ovation. That's, I don't see what to do about that. Or this one, refinery? Oh, it is refinery. Um, finery would be your fancy clothes, put on your finery. And then concerning would be re, like regarding. Kind of ovation? In? In ovation, okay. Yeah, that's wordplay. Regardless of... Oh, you spell offenses right. Offenses. Well, I spelled offenses right. No, I didn't. No, there's... <laughs> you never... Never put a C there. Okay, this is despite. I believe. Um, Venom, I was thinking like... The, the stuff that's not a toxin but is a venom um, but spite like ire and just a bad mood and then D uh, anyway that's that answer and I think this is just a U no A I put an A here well that's interesting um I would say that both tap and pat count as touches. So this is going to be e-reader. Why is it? Yeah. 
Does every, I mean, no, every eye chart shouldn't start with an E. Anyway, e-reader. Be a bit silly if all eye charts started with the same letter, but maybe they do. Uh, pat and tap. I think the way to parse it, by the way, is we're going to spell tap upwards, just touch. All right, hey, we completed that one. Definitely helps to not have a totally empty grid as a warm-up into this line of thinking, and uh, since that only took a very little bit, I have the vowelless crossword pulled up, but I think I think that's gonna be like our our main event. What? No, I'm just gonna try to get to that later. And instead. I'm gonna jump to uh, gotta reorganize my stream for this one. Yeah, gotta gotta redraw my boxes for both of these. Okay, so your patience, please. There's probably a way for me to do this intelligently. Studio mode. I don't know how to use studio. I think I can do this. Oh no, I remember what the problem is. Okay, that looks alright so far. How's that? Let's move those down. We got room to trim the top? No. Trim it in a different way. There. I'm gonna get you out of the way of the rest of the thing. Okay. I think I successfully... Oh, doesn't look good, does it? Okay, let's try again. How's that? No, we need more room to read the date, don't we? This is hard for... I need a second monitor. Got the line back. My, uh... My standards for quality are such that I would rather sit here and do this live while streaming than have that little line be visible to the people who watch the recording. All right, how do I do? Oh, we're not there yet. All right. That's uh, that's the result. I think that's it. Okay. Puns and anagrams from Sunday, January twenty second. Oh, I lost my. Uh... Okay. Brief pause. Okay, I told you it'd be brief. All right. I'm learning. What Grumpy shouldn't do to a fellow dwarf. This has got to be an anagram, right? I don't know. Don't see it. SW equals H. Since when? Huh? Since when, huh? Press W equals H. Okay. A small part of cream and oleo. Ah, 
I am looking for ways to just take some of those letters. Mm. This is the right number of letters, so it probably is an anagram of those. Small part of a something roll. A meager roll? It doesn't use the right letters. Okay, uh, we already used the... Uh, in a way, we used the R, and so we need those letters to finish it off. Small part is what I'm trying to find an anagram that satisfies. Easily put. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's still the right letters. Cameo roll. There we go. A cameo roll is a small part. <laughs> that works. Kind of path. Don't have it. Musical performances in a pet store. Let's do it again, huh? Let's put the S there. I mean, I, I kind of like ending in an ORS. Although A could also. Operetta. Yeah. Yeah. Operettas. A pet sort, yeah. That's a good anagram for a musical performance. A bit of Oklahoma surrounded by Arkansas on both sides. Like that, Arkansas? And a bit of Oklahoma. A roar, just the O from Oklahoma. Okay. Color of a piece of paper with writing fluid. Writing fluid. Pink? Yeah, a P is a part of paper. And then ink is writing fluid for sure, and that's a color. Okay, things they shout in part. There's a lot of different ways that this could go. Um, things that, so I maybe you need to just anagram part and all I can think of is trap for that. And I don't think they shout trap. I don't think people shout trap. Um, so they shout maybe is saying that this is going to be a homophone for the answer to the clue. I don't know. Or maybe it means take part of one of those letters. Part of one of those words. So, I don't know. Demands from a stern landlady. She probably needs her rent, which is an anagram of stern. Judge meant day is the end. And those are the letters missing from that clue. Baseball score by a Minnesota hockey team. The Wild are the NHL team from Minnesota, and a baseball score is a run. A run wild. A long time back. A long time is an aeon, an eon, but spelling it backwards wouldn't make me do that. A 
Ugly era. That's a long time usually. And then we spell it backwards and we get R. Let's um let's make that questionable. An erratic roller. Probably Right, because erratic is not or erratic is long enough. Roller is not. So let's rearrange to get roller. I do think ER probably is how we end. Maybe not. Because that LR is going to be bad. Okay. We'll be back for you. In particular, a lake name in Asia. Right. Four letters only. Hmm. Don't, I'm lost. Okay. Foul place for a seamstress. Foul place, a sewer. That's not a very happy place to be. And a seamstress is one who sews. Middle of sentences. Just ten. Sen and says both three letters, leaving ten in the middle. It's everything or nothing. Is it now? I don't uh, don't have an answer there. Okay. Uh, this articles of furniture. Oh, it's a long one. Didn't even look at it. Okay. Articles of furniture. And you just want me to spell this backwards. I think. Um, that's going to be a mess. Oh, okay. Uh, Midas? No. It's too many letters. Uh, it's ending in to the Greeks, clearly, so we'll put the ES there, and then Moms keeps coming to mind. Moms to the Greek doesn't look good, as far as an answer. Uh, mons I could do, which would leave us with ones. So that doesn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. Alright, well. We'll find you. On the downs, probably. Guy who's hilarious at heart. Uh, this is another one where we're just looking in the middle of a word. Just like we did with ten. Uh, Ari is a guy's name. And... He's the heart of hilarious. Computers with 500 add-ons. Uh, 500 is the letter D in Roman numerals, right? I think so. And... What's well, that? Because it's not... Yeah. I've talked myself through this before on stream. I'm pretty sure that's a D there. So, um, computers, the PCs, and then we would have no vowels to work with, which wouldn't be the best. Okay, we'll have to think about that one again too. Some whiskeys say, 
Uh, some whiskeys are rye's, and if we're, as you may have heard me say it, it sounded like I said rye's. I think that's what we do with this one. Place to get zany in China. Place to get zany. Huh. Is, uh, get zany? Yangtze, wow. Oh, the river. Or maybe it's a whole it's a whole province, but it's definitely the name of a river in China. Get zany. Pat. Maybe they just want me to put tap. Just like they did last time. Dragons home when alone. Eh? That seems like what we need. Alone A. It's an awkward phrase. But don't see it. nothing about dragons is popping out to me there. It's like lair. Dragons have layers. Oh. Uh, okay, so. Just a quick little sneaky peek at the down here. A classic song from Yoda is Day Oh, which is anagram in Yoda. So, didn't help us much, but okay. After December, month in which to make extracts from boiling. That's distilling. What does that have to do with months? You lost me, Clue. Brand all in Nabisco packaging. That's Nilla wafers. All in. Stimulate most of sudden growth. Well, it's definitely not most of the words sudden growth because there's only four letters being chosen. Stimulate, stimulate. Right. Ales at a reduced price example given. A sale. You can have a sale on ales. Of course. Declaration from a person holding a card deck. Ideal. That's wordplay. That's a pun. Because that's what they'd have to do with that deck of cards. Rationale of one who's turning away friends. It doesn't fit. I knew it didn't fit, and I typed it. That's not it. Rationale? Oh. Relation? What are we missing? Another A. Ooh. Okay, so it's not... It's not just relation. I think we are anagramming rationale. So who's turning away friends? We could end it in ER. A. Do I have 
the wrong number of... No, that's two A's. That's good. I think I've maintained the right letters. Uh, maybe it's loner... Something else. Or maybe it's alone. Okay, we're not far, but I need some more letters to help. It helps engines rev so well. It's gotta be an anagram of rev so. A servo. Yeah, servos help engines. Of course they do. Kind of section near a case. Um, near a case is enough letters. Hey, near a case, that kind of section, cesarean. How do you spell that? Like that, near, yeah, I think that is how you spell cesarean section, like Caesar. Although what it has to do with Caesar, I do not know. Okay, that's, that's gonna help. Ooh. Double, most likely. Curves, shapes. A double curve looks like an S. So double curve shapes are S's. Motel judge with a nasty bark. Mo <laughs> Motel judge. Model judge with a nasty bark. Probably something dog, right? Model judge get angry. No, too big, way too big. Okay, let's start from the back. While we're down here, um, blank upside down. Ones diving at a beach. Turns. That's wordplay for sure, right? Turns upside down would be, that's seabirds diving to catch their fish upside down. Conceal a lock. If, um, clearly I don't think that's the answer, but I think those are our letters and I just don't, Point Let's just think for one more second. Conceal, cloak, a lock. Okay. I don't know. Okay. A note about some cereal. A note. Probably. That's our letters. October is a month. Oten. Some cereal is Oten. And that's a note. Aura's wife, Sarah, probably. Rising disapproval. Well, a disapproval could be like a nay vote, but yan I don't think is a thing. And it also doesn't help us if um, rationale is what we're doing here. Those letters are also good for rationale. Oh, Tyra Banks, she's a model and nasty bark. I don't know, what if she knows that her name can be integrated into Nasty Bark? Tyra, do you know that? Let me know, comment Tyra if you, <laughs> if you know. Okay, uh, a disapproval could be a ban. Be a pretty strong disapproval to ban something and then nab is a word, sure. 
Okay, uh, and we're still on good pace to make this a word. Rationale. Alienator. Someone who's turning away your friends, it's alienating them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mother who observed Easter. Mother Teresa. Uglier and more sticky. Gluier. Can start to do business. Transact. Anagram of can start. Is this spur? Stimulate? Oh. A spurt is a sudden growth. So most of spurt makes spur. Oh ho. Okay, what is this? Shoulder rings, halos. Anagram Dragons home win alone. A. We need an A and an E. Right? Yeah. From alone A? It's either that or that. Neither's very good. Neither one of those means anything to me. Blank to a toolbox does what a work woodworker might. Ads? Taking ads to a toolbox? What is this? What's Hono? What is. Is that a thing? I guess that's a thing. I don't know. Here. Okay. Do I have to read this in a sarcastic SpongeBob voice? Sacrifice bed. That's not. That didn't sound anything like <laughs> uh, SpongeBob. Do I do a G here? I don't think I do. Okay, getting fixated on that too much. It's time to give up. That's Lent. You're gonna give stuff up during Lent. For some reason. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stay down here. Rustlers heard after making a Yui. Wrestlers. So replacing a U with a W, I guess. Or making a U, whatever. Wrestlers. The U has become a W and an E for some reason. A U E. I think that's right. Greek playwright, or what he asked the dry cleaner regarding his pants. Okay. It's Arena's Spice. That's Star Anise. Two A's. I guess we got that. Yeah, that star anise is there. Is it star anise or star anise? Does it just matter where I'm from, maybe? I don't know. Pat. Oh, no. Maybe it's not wrestlers. That would... I think it is wrestlers. Pat. Doesn't help me... Mars to the Greeks is Aries. Roman, really easier for me to think that 
Aries is Mars to the Romans. I think I want to put a P here. APT, but I don't don't know what APT is. Euripides. <laughs> You rip it, these? Did you rip my pants? <laughs> what a funny thing that has happened there. Okay. Meaning, they say, in perfume. Well, probably another homonym, homophone. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Like coming from the rear to win, that would be rare. Turned the tables. Okay, articles of furniture would be the tables. And then we turned them around for that clue. Yeah. Sense is a meaning, and it sounds like sense, which is perfume. Erratic roller. Uh oh. <laughs> Can't anagram erratic with an S. And I refuse to change what I just said was the answer for that other one for 26 down. Ben Her Ben Hur's painterly relative. Arthur. So if this was a surname, her. Art would be an, a valid given name for someone who's playfully kind of into art, right? Arthur, that's what we're doing. Things they shout in part, no, no, no. Erratic roller. Don't see what to do here. And this is still, I mean, we have barely any left, and I don't know what to do about it. Essie, you're darn, you're darn tootin'. Yes, siree. That's Essie and your anagrams to mean darn toot. Things they shout. That it starts. Why does it have to say black cap cheating at the start of that song? We're gonna get rid of that one. All right, an erratic roller. No, oh, we have no new letters, so I shouldn't keep looking at that one. Strong T's. Nope. Um. So, we, nope, right? If I wanted. Nope. And then two T's. Yeah, I think that's what it, and it means. Pot and potent means strong. So, nope. And then two T's anagram. Erratic roller. Oh, uh, okay. That's fine. I'll change it for car tire, which is a roller, sense. So this is the other way. Uh, in, okay. So in sense, we got the in and then what I typed in there. And then, yeah, we're good. That's, that's good. Things they shout in part, I guess it's haze. They shout, that's all, they shout. And then, sacrifice bunt, uh, play within a play. Rent has appeared capitalized, it's thrown off a bit by the S also being capital, but uh, rent is a play name 
kind of musical, whatever. Um, and a sacrifice bunt is also a play. Grumpy probably shouldn't uh, do something to Happy. And that works for Santa, ho, ho, ho. A each thousand dollar, each thousand dollars of a job benefit. That's just per thousand for K. That's a perk. Play, prayers closing before the start of dinner. That's amend. Start of dinner is the letter D. Plain coat trimming. Uh, lap in. That'd be an anagram of plain, but I guess it would be slap happy. Yeah. I don't quite get this one. What coat trimming is? A lap? And maybe that's sartorial knowledge that I don't have. Thomas Hardy piece. Uh, another little like span the two words shard is a piece dressed in western oregon war I guess w dot or would be a way to indicate western oregon what the successful sesame seed might say i'm on a roll <laughs> <laughs> Show the composer of Bolero a chair on a ship. Well, I do not know the composer of Bolero, but I bet we are seating somebody uh, on a ship. Uh, having the sheer loss of a stable's animals. Sheer loss. I'm gonna give this, that D was a guess and it looks pretty bad right now. Because I think that D there for the add-on to some computers. Sheer loss. Is that the right amount of letters? S H E E R L O S? Yeah. Oh, S W is H. It's fish. Okay. Kind of path. A. Homeopath. Homeopath uh, is a thing. Uh, horseless. Hey, look, that's it. Horseless would be the sheer loss of a stable dinner. If you've lost all your animals out of your stable, they're horseless. Okay, let's see, I'm still looking at there. Dramatist. Dramatist? With odd characters in a la breve. Um, I'm just gonna say that with B and E here, we're taking like every other letter of a la breve. So put that other E in there. And then we also need an L and an A. Albi? Probably, it's probably good. Just Dells? It's probably just Dells. And. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, in particular, a lake. We can find the name of a lake in Asia. Lake Errol. Errol Lake. And. Uh, it's everything or nothing. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm gonna put an N here. Dang it. 
Okay, so I clearly don't understand that or this. Uh, should be able to should be able to get there. It's everything or nothing. I could put R as lore. It's not a lot of I don't understand why I would. I do think that it is an R here to make R a arrow spelled backwards. Composer of Valero. Is there any way love? Yeah. It, this is a V. Okay. Um, because in tennis, love is nothing. And I guess love is everything to some people. Seat Ravel and Sea Travel. Honali. Honali? Honali. I feel like I would know that from like a rhyme or a song. Hey, I'm gonna take a break for a little bit and then I'm gonna do the vowel list puzzle for the last hour of this stream. I'm only gonna, I'm either gonna finish the vowel list puzzle, um, which I have pulled up here, or I'm going to just quit after about an hour. So that's the plan and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna look up Hanley. You, you, how's that look? Is that okay? Yeah, that'll be fine. It'll look better when I start playing. Okay, um, you're on your own for a little bit. I'm gonna refill some coffee. See what's going on outside my door. Be back in a couple. Puff the Magic Dragon is from a land called Hanali. It's a dragon's home. Okay. It was a specific dragon. All right. The vowelless crossword. Something very different from what we were just doing. But yeah, there's going to be no vowels in this crossword. A uh, component of a couple's attire often 
it would be an eight letter word and a six letter word. But the vowels are gone. Wrapped. Attentive is too long. Wrapped. Don't have that yet either. Employed at a greasy spoon. Weighted? No. So there's 12 letters in the answer when there are vowels, and there are nine spaces here, so I'm only getting rid of three vowels. Weighted would already do that. Okay. Employed at a greasy spoon. Greasy spoons are diners. Kind of. Served. It's not long enough. Okay. Don't have that one either. Many modern mini movies. Animated shorts. Oh, sorry, I was typing. I was trying to not actually type. Just to confirm that shorts is too short. Not a great start. Where pilots train. They train. This again only seems to have three vowels. Uh, I'd say naval bases, but that would. We would lose too many letters. And it wouldn't be a good answer. But if we did bases. Oh. It's not long enough. Strips is good though, right? Hey, hey. Okay, strips is six letters long, so that is. seems pretty likely to be our second word. And then another six letter word with two more vowels to take out. Plain strips? No, it's too short. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with that for now. Whoa, one recently born. Seven letters down to just an S? I think this is a French word. <sighs> okay. Encourages. Um, probably our last word is at or to, which would put a T there. Or on. N. It's making this T pretty questionable. Darn. Virtuous. Moral? No, it's too short. It's not seven letters long. Okay, well, I mean, what if we just figure this out? I will not be figuring that out. So, let's question mark that. Eavesdrop. Listen in. I think that's it. Right? Listen is six letters. So, listen in is our answer. Feel good about that. Leaves in liquid. So
silks. Yeah, okay. Website whose ratings are sometimes accompanied by green splats. That's Rotten Tomatoes. So R, two T's and N, another T, and M, a T, and an S. Rotten Tomatoes. Lower part of a two piece bathing suit. Bikini bottom? Yeah. Okay, we're, we're really grooving now. Separates oneself from. Ten letters. Yikes. We're slow. Wrapped. Um, oh, dang. I was going to say absorbed. It doesn't actually work. Oh, yeah, it does. Because the A goes away. So, y yeah. Absorbed. All right. Classic Volkswagens. Beatles. Volkswagen Beatles. Many movies. TikToks. I don't know about movies, but okay. Very many, that's for sure. Modern. Yeah. Okay. Separates oneself from. D somethings. How most potato chips are sold in a bag. Okay, a bulb specification is a wattage. Sorry, excuse my vowel. Ah, disengage is disengages. Separates oneself from competitions that people can dive right into. Swim meets. Cry upon arriving at a, after a long trip. We made it. Okay, let's back up. Because I don't want to miss entire swaths of clues. Throw away. Toss out. YouTube's domain. Video hosting. Uh, videos. Is it, um, what kind of videos? I don't, I mean, I don't know anything about YouTube. Many a locale overlooking Puget Sound. Oh, many a local. Okay. Read right. Read correctly. I think it's an Oregoner. Where's the Puget Sound? Oregon? Oregoners. Organites? I think they're ers. And I think I should pluralize it because there's many of them. Atlanta's home. Yeah, the state is Georgia. Okay. Just a quick little check. <laughs> All right. Co-op charge. A membership fee? That's not going to take away... Enough. Well, maybe it will, because the F is all that's left at the end. A uh, membership... No. Doesn't fit. Couple letters too long. I think fee is right, um, and we can place that pretty confidently. So I'm going to leave that there. A period when children are free to participate in activities of their choosing. Uh, time. That's the period that it is. Oh boy, twelve letters. Self. Lead time. 
What do you see, evaluations? Sites is too long for the five letter end word. Black bear, black bear, what do you see? Crucial turning point. Brown bear? I think it's all bears at this point. <laughs> okay, crucial turning point. Pivotal moment. Is that? Pivotal is not anywhere near nine letters. I mean, it's not far off. But it's not enough. Okay. Not pivotal moment. Moment very well could be right. We we'll do MM and T there. Let's try. Conestoga? Conestica? I don't have any idea what that is. Goes back and forth quickly. Flip flops? I think. I think it's flip flops. Showy flowers. Irises is actually too short, isn't it? Yeah, not irises. Two some. A couple. Brought to light. Mm, no. Nope. Small pointed beards. Goatees. Yeah, lots of that is made up of vowels. Aids for ordering restaurant food from home. It's probably menus. Digital? No, that's too long. Online? And, oh yeah, NLN. That's all you have from online for consonants. Online menus. That's not enough letters. It's not online because it needs to be seven letters and that's only six. Website? It's too long. Sorry. Um. No. Don't know. An underground utility component, I think, is a gas line. They can dictate venue capacity. Fire Marshal. The fire codes. One time pipe playing musicians in India. One time? There's like an extinct instrument? Mercury or Mars, but not Earth. Well, Roman God. Both of those are Roman gods. Earth is not the name of a Roman god. Hits the jacks, jackpot. Uh, it's probably it for the two-letter word. Strikes it rich? Strikes it rich. Determined with difficulty. Makes riskier for betors. Raises the odds. Doesn't uh, doesn't actually make any sense and is not enough letters. Uh, changes changes the stakes no raises the stakes back to raises raises the stakes 
Cool. Okay. Perennial Outsiders. Hmm. Why do I have an R here? Because of Oregoners. I can't really... I don't see how to put an S there, which I want to do, so maybe I should be thinking differently. Oh, I don't know. Reads a clock. Tells time. Dang. Okay. Seattleites? It's been... Seattleer? A Seattleer. Seattlein? I don't know what that is. Okay, well, it turned out the, the Puget Sound was in Washington this week. Tells time. A uh, traffic problem during rush hour. A... I mean, all of the whole situation is a traffic problem. Amsgray. Scuttle on. Scuttle on? Shuttle on? Shuffle off. I'm putting shuttle on. Is that long enough? No, it's not. It's not the right number of letters. Okay, so I'm not putting that, but I, I think I am gonna have an N here. One recently born, yeah, I didn't know you. I didn't know any of these, okay. Where did we leave off? The Liz. Okay, so not at strips. The Le. That's how you speak French. Seeking validation in a way. Yeah. Fishing for compliments. Wait. So, flip flops is not. Could be good. No, it's not flip flops. Okay. Virtuous. Yeah, I still don't have those. That's okay. Watching a pooch while the dog's owner is away. That's dog sitting. Sneaker. A tennis shoe. A tennis shoe. So it's Seattle Light. Sorry that didn't work out. I... I don't know. I think the first letter is a vowel though. Cathode ray tube. Part of an old TV. Cathode. Potential indicator of carpal tunnel syndrome. It's wrist pain. Watch out for that, folks. Don't don't sleep on it. Take it seriously. Uh, add one's two cents. Chime in. Okay, we're almost done with this one now. Um. <laughs> Unstructured time. What do you see evaluations? Oh, tests here for our well, five letter word. Rorschach. Rorschach tests. Right? What of a... Is there a, There's another H somewhere, maybe? I think it's Rorschach test, but apparently I don't know how to spell.
Although, t no tennis shoes, that S is in a good spot. Um, I think I need another S right there. It'd be too many. Dang. Fishing for compliments. That's good. Time in, I feel strong about, strongly, dog sitting, yeah, um, how do you spell Rorschach? Crucial turning point as the moment, yeah, oh wait, I, I need to look at the downs. High-tech mechanisms of identity verification. Retinal scanners. Retinal scans. Okay. Uh, pointers. Advice. No, too short. Where some people do the heavy lifting. The weight room. Weight rooms. Yeah, weight rooms. Thick cut starchy side dish. Potato? No, steak fries? No. Wedge fries. Wedge fries. Whoa, hey. Sussed out. Gotcha. Figured you out. Museum. Okay, wait, hold on. We were here? Yeah, okay. I stand by all my previous decisions. No regrets. 1960s TV parody centered around agents 86 and 99. Let's get smart. Ping pongs goes back and forth quickly. A leprechaun's clover is a shamrock. What is this? A gas main. Okay, that's still an end. Place to buy croissant and macaron. A patisserie. Which I think has two S's. Yeah. And then a bunch of L's. Breakfast pastries. I need a donut. I'm in the mood. Brought to light, unearthed. Could be donut hole. No. Can't be donut holes. It's not really a pastry either, is it? Um, yeah, here we are. See you then. It's, uh, no, illegal. It's a date. Don't tell anyone I typed it. Oh. Okay, was there, yeah, that 53 down is the other one that I've already done and I need to check later. Parts of printing presses. There's an end there. I don't remember. A bulb holder, a socket. Because of menus. Yeah. Takeout menus. I was 221st century. Parts of printing presses. I don't know. Now, one more peep from you. Hush. That's gonna be, I still don't have any idea what that is. I'm a little lost here. Parts of printing presses. And also here, breakfast pastries. Danishes. 
Okay, that helps. I mean, it doesn't help a lot because not a big surprise that the snake charmers. There we go. Snake charmers and don't really need to know this because I'm very confident about snake charmers all of a sudden. But inkers? Yeah, probably the thing that puts ink onto the blocks, the inkers. Okay, uh, showy flowers, I think, are going to be dahlias. Pointers, you know, the S. I guess it's a type of uh, wagon. You got a wagon wheel on your Conestoga. Maybe. Pointers. Pointers. Nope. The um, crucial turning point. Watershed moment? Yeah. Pointers. I don't know. Uh, a lot of places these vowels could be going that I've lost track of. I think I want that to be an... Oh, dang you, Rorschach. I think this is a C. I think that's what I'm missing. I think I need two CHs. But like, this is SCH for the SH, and then that's CH for the K. I think it's Rorschach. Uh, pointers. Why is there an R there? gotta be though, right? Rare, no. Well, I think I have, I've talked myself into that's how Rorschach it would be spelled. So we're gonna leave that there. Sorry that didn't work out. Luck, probably our last word, four letters. Um, no such luck, no such luck. Maintenance fee, why is, oh yeah, cause I was like, probably something on but I think this is maintenance fee. Traffic problem during rush hour. Uh, bumper to bumper. Traffic problem. Hmm. Am scray. Could be two. So the last word could be two. It could be scuttling two. I don't like that. But if for some reason I keep saying scuttle and shuttle. You kind of need to break that connection in my head. Um, maybe that's where I'm putting it online as opposed to takeout. Online videos is YouTube's domain. Virtuous. Very moral. Doesn't give us enough letters, as I've discussed. Encourages. Eggs on. I think I see that one now. Yeah. I think it's egging someone on. Okay, component of a couple's attire. Ooh.
You know, it might not be fishing for compliments over here. Although I, that's the only phrase that I know that really works there. So I'm gonna leave that. Um, pilots train at a school, at flight school. Wow, way more straightforward than I made that. Flight school, very good. Perennial outsiders. Ooh, it's not outcasts. Misfits. Misfits. Employed at a greasy spoon. Something ing. Hash? Sling and hash. So I need an ng. So it's uh, an i missing twice from slinging. And then an h for hash, sling and hash. Virtuous. Ethical. I don't know if I'm gonna tease that one out. Um, one recently born. So. Yeah. Amscray. Um, G, H, and T, like this can all be uninterrupted by vowels. And then like have an E at the end of that word. Hmm, that's tricky. Congestion is your traffic problem during rush hour. Matching outfit. Okay, so what do, what do we, if this is gonna be an H and that's an N, a Neo Nate, and then Amstray. Hightail it. Hey. All right. One more done from the archive. Um, I, oh, we already did this one today. Okay, so there's more, there's always more. I'm not gonna keep going though. Um, I think I will be back next Sunday morning if my wife and baby consent. Uh, and I may be around for a lot longer that time. Wow, I'm making a lot of promises. Anyway, um, I'm going to call it for today. Thank you for watching. And I will... I'll be back. I'll be back live. I'll also be back on recorded videos. So... I mean, what are the odds that someone is sitting here right now at the end of this hour and a half and they're not subscribed already? Seems, seems slim. But if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. That's all the begging I'm going to do. And we'll see you next time. Okay, cool. Adios.